All right, shout out to one of my subscribers, Fresh Busy Prince, who suggested that I make a video on the most useless STEM degrees. So he basically said, do STEM degrees that are useless because there are some degrees that have the title of STEM but lack the job prospects. Very smart man, he's absolutely right. I 100% agree with him. There's so many degrees popping up that sound like they might be STEM degrees, but in reality, they don't have very good job prospects. They're pretty much useless. There's also a lot of degrees that used to be worth it at one point, but at this point, they just aren't. And I care about you guys, even though I don't care about myself right now. So I decided to make this video. So without further ado, we're gonna go over 10 of the most useless STEM majors. Number 10 on the list is going to be construction engineering technology. Now this is going to rank 377 out of 835 possible degrees that are listed on pay scale. Now I always like to start off these lists with a few that are technically okay, like they're not bad. 377 out of 835, that's not horrible, but they're really overrated. And by that, I mean they sound a lot better than they actually are. This is a perfect example. They threw a few buzzwords together in order to create a degree that sounds like it's really good but in reality it only ranks slightly above average when you compare it to all other degrees and if you compare it to technology or STEM degrees it's actually pretty low. Just because they throw engineering or technology or science or some buzzword like that into the title doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to get you a job. Universities are doing this all the time now and a lot of people don't really investigate and research their degree and so they end up getting a degree that they think is a good choice but in reality it's not. But to be honest, most of the videos and articles out there are pretty boring, so I don't know why you're watching me right now. Just kidding, if you're researching and watching this stuff, you're way ahead of the curve, you're gonna be making a much better decision than you would have if you didn't. The next degree on the list is another one where it sounds like it's a really good one. The perception of everyone in society, everyone thinks this is a good one, but in reality, it's just not. Number nine on the list is going to be biology, and this one ranks 420 out of 835 possible degrees. Now, there's 47 different biology related majors. There's a ton of them out there. This is one of the most popular degrees out there and over 64,000 people graduate with this one every single year in the US. Now I've talked about this one in my other videos and in my opinion, it's pretty oversaturated. I've had several friends that majored in this one. They weren't able to find jobs in biology after graduating with a four year degree. One of my friends got a biology degree thinking she was gonna become a medical doctor after she graduated. That ended up not working out unfortunately and she was stuck with that four year biology degree. She couldn't find a job and so she ended up going back and eventually she is getting her doctorate. I've been in contact with her throughout this whole process and you know she was not happy with her four-year biology degree. She was extremely surprised at the lack of job prospects. It was just a huge pain. I don't want to put words in her mouth but she's basically told me before that if she could go back and do it again she would not have chosen biology. Number eight on the list is going to be printing technology. Now this one ranks 508 out of 835 possible degrees and I think this one would be considered a technology degree. Now, this is a degree that you would get if you want to work as the assistant to the regional manager at Dunder Mifflin. But no, let's think about this one. What kind of job prospects are you going to get with a printing technology degree? Are you going to be a printing press operator? Are you going to design new printers? Like what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to sell printers to people, sell paper to people like they do at Dunder Mifflin? Like what kind of jobs would this degree qualify you for? The only one I could think of is maybe you could design new printers, but but honestly, there's not that many printer companies out there. The technology has improved tremendously. It's probably not gonna improve that much more in the next 10, 20, 30 years. And because of that, they're not gonna need that many people who design printers. And the few that they do have are probably just engineers that got hired on by the company and eventually specialized in printing technology. And then when you try to apply for other jobs after finding out that you can't get a job in that specific industry, they're gonna think that your degree is a little bit too specific. And so that's a huge problem that I see with technology degrees is a lot of them are too specific. Now you probably thought that I wasn't going to include any engineering degrees on this list, huh? I mean engineering degrees are the best, right? No way many of them make it on here. Wrong. Number seven on the list is going to be audio engineering and this one ranks 615 out of 835 possible choices. This one's a huge trap and I've talked about before how colleges will slap fancy buzzwords onto degrees in order to make them seem better than they actually are. Audio engineering is a perfect example of this. It's technically 
an engineering degree, and almost all of the other engineering degrees are in the top 200, at least on this list. And to put this in perspective, the second worst engineering degree is going to be product design engineering, and that ranks 382 out of 835. So even when something has the word engineering in it, you have to be careful and do your research. Now, I think audio engineering is pretty popular, partially because people think that it'll help them get into the music industry. Many of them end up working as sound technicians for different media companies, and they make a lot less than what they would have if they got pretty much any other engineering degree. Looks like BLS has broadcasting and sound engineering technicians making around $45,000 a year. But speaking of the music industry, there are many schools out there that offer useless degrees that will sound like they'll help you break into this industry. The next one on the list is going to be number six, music technology. Now this one's actually worse than audio engineering. It ranks 625 on the list, but many people pursue this one for very similar reasons. Now, if you wanna break into the music industry, you gotta get creative with it. Getting a college degree is not gonna help you 99.9% of the time. In many cases, it will actually set you back because that's four years of your life that you could have been trying to break into the industry, networking, et cetera, building your skills. Not only that, it's also going to be around $40,000 in debt on average. So it probably won't help you, but even more than that, it will end up hurting you. Number five on the list is going to be mathematics teaching. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about secondary and middle school mathematics teacher education, which ranks 634 out of 835 possible degrees. Now, unfortunately, getting an education degree in general is usually not going to be the best choice just because of the fact that they don't pay teachers that well. And an education degree is already specific enough. You know, if you're getting that degree, you probably want to become a teacher. You don't need to get any more specific than that. If you do that, you might end up pigeonholing yourself and making yourself unhirable if you end up not becoming a teacher or if you end up becoming a teacher, but maybe you want to do something else. There's no reason to specialize any further, but you see this all the time. The bottom of this list, the worst degrees are littered with different education specialist degrees. Now, the most ridiculous one I found had to be this one. Not only is it training you how to be a math teacher, but a secondary and middle school math teacher. Like how specific can we get? Middle schoolers might be some of the most annoying people on the planet. I know because I used to be one of them and uh, most of them hate math. Why would anybody go into this uh, to try to teach people uh, that don't want to learn anything about math? Math, it's, it's just, I, I don't know why anyone would want to go back to middle school in the first place. This is a rough degree. Number four on the list is going to be animal science. This one ranks 680 out of 835, and I can see why so many people like it. You know, animals are awesome. Everybody loves animals. Now, science is definitely the weakest when you're talking about STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Out of those four, science is definitely gonna be the weakest one. Now, I've mentioned this before, but one thing schools are doing all the time is they'll throw the word science or engineering or technology or anything like that in front of something that people are really interested in. So in this case, it's animal science. People love animals. Oh, I wanna learn about animal science. Not because there's a lot of jobs out there that involve animal science, but because of the fact that people are gonna see that and they're gonna to want to study it. What they don't tell you is after you graduate, it's pretty much useless in the real world except for a very small percentage of the time. You see the word science and you think for sure you're gonna be able to get a job with that, right? Not so fast. And the next one on the list is in the same category. Next one is going to be mortuary science. <laughs> Now, this one is gonna be for people who want to be a mortician, open up a morgue or a funeral home, something along those lines. This is a legitimate career. Some people make really good money from it. It's something that values and benefits society as well. So what these schools do sometimes is they'll slap science or business or technology or something along those lines next to that word in order to make it seem like they're going to teach you how to become a mortician. This one isn't great when it comes to the stats though, and that's just a fact. 744 out of 800 that's not good at all. And the reason for that is because you don't need to go to college in order to become a mortician. Most morticians have associate's degrees and even there, their associate's degrees have nothing to do with mortuary science. And you honestly don't even need to get an associate's degree in many cases. You would be much better off just going and working for a mortician for four years, some type of apprenticeship sort of thing, and just learning the business under them. Four years later, I can almost guarantee you, you would have learned so much more that would have helped you actually open up your own business than if you went to college. And on top of that, you'd be making money and you wouldn't be accruing 
debt. Number two on the list is going to be library and information science. This one ranks 760 out of 835 possible degrees. Now this is one similar to teachers where you can get the degree, but unfortunately it's not going to pay very well. You can become a librarian after you get this degree. I think librarians are awesome. I love what they do. I think reading is great, but unfortunately when it comes to the statistics from a personal finance perspective, this one just is not a good choice at all. Number one on the list is going to be exercise science. And I put this as number one because a lot of people think that this is probably a pretty decent degree. After all, it is a very popular one, over 16,000 people in the United States graduating with this degree every single year. I decided to put this one as number one because it is got to be by far, out of all the STEM degrees, the most overrated. Not only are the stats horrible, but it's also extremely overrated. A lot of people go into this thinking that they're going to become a personal trainer afterwards but the problem with that is most personal trainers don't have to get a college degree in fact most of them just have a high school degree the truth is when people are hiring personal trainers 99% of the time they're not going to care about you reading all these different studies or any of that sort of thing. You're gonna start talking about that stuff and their brain is gonna go into la la land. They're just not gonna be listening to what you're saying. They want someone who's good at motivating them, who gets them to their goals, who's fun, and who doesn't break the bank. This might be one of the most overrated degrees out there because so many people are passionate about fitness and they wanna make it their career. And so they end up getting this degree and it usually is not going to help you get to your goal. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And don't forget to check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.